Hey guys, what's up? I'm Corinne and this is my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing an extra video because it is December 15th and today is um, Zamenhof Day. Um, so I am going to be doing the campaign um, called Esperanto Lives, hashtag Esperanto Lives. And I want to be a part of that, so I wanted to make a video. And basically, what this is all about is the language of Esperanto. Um, a lot of people don't know about it, and this is kind of spreading it out there to the world to learn about that language and trying to get people to want to learn it as well. I recently just learned about it a little bit a little while back um touching on it here and there but i've actually just recently decided to go ahead gung-ho and learn the language so i don't have much experience i am not fluent whatsoever at all really um i am a complete beginner i have a couple hours under my belt but not a whole lot um but i still wanted to make this video because i think it's really important to learn about and I think it's really awesome. So in this video I'm going to tell you guys about what Esperanto is and why I am going to be learning the language and why I like it. So Esperanto is basically a made-up language. It is artificial. It was created by um, L.L. Zamenhof back in 1887 and the reason he made this language was for it to be universal and i love that because um i think it's awesome and people there's so many people that actually know the language i was shocked to learn because how i found this language was i was really into language learning i've tried to study Spanish. I studied Spanish in school. Obviously during high school you're not really into that sort of thing. I mean I was interested in it but teenage years you don't really treat it seriously. I regret that but um, so I know a little bit of Spanish. I can get by with like basic conversation back and forth but not not a whole lot. And then I was also interested in learning Swedish. So for the past six years, I think it's been like six years, I've been off and on learning Swedish as well. So I can get by with a little bit of Swedish, but I've never had that like click moment where I just get the language and I'm learning it at a fast rate and I'm becoming fluent. I am not fluent in any other language but my native language, which is English. So I was looking up online because I wanted to see what the easiest language to learn was. And it ended up, I typed it into Google and popped up Esperanto. And I'm like, what the heck is that? I've never heard about it before in my life. And then I learned that it's artificial. And obviously there's been a lot of artificial languages in the world people make up for entertainment movies, you know, like Lord of the Rings or Game of Thrones, um, etc. Um, but this language is actually made for the world. Like he wanted, Zamenhof wanted the world to be able to learn this language as their second language so that everyone could be able to speak to everybody. Um, with no bias, no, like, nothing. Like, if I wanted to speak to someone from Russia, and I only know my native language of English, and they only know their native language of Russian, with Esperanto, if we both knew it, we could both communicate with that language instead of having to learn either their native language or mine, like, we have that bridge with Esperanto that even though we don't know each other's native languages, we can know and we can talk with Esperanto. 
and it's the easiest language to learn. Um, so basically, off my little tangent, Zamenhof um, created this language. It didn't really get like um, kicking or into effect until like the early 1900s, where he like published a book and all this stuff. And I didn't realize I'm thinking artificial language. Okay, it's gonna be like Klingon, and no one's gonna know it. Like, why should I learn this, right? So I did some more research, I learned about it, and I actually learned that hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people know this language as a secondary language or, um, and there's also people that actually, it's their native language now. Esperanto is their native language. There's like groups of people. Um, so that's super interesting and cool, I think, um, that this artificial language has become its own animal. And the cool thing is it's super easy to learn and that's what I was wanting. So basically that's like a little tiny bit of history. I don't know everything about it. Obviously I'm kind of, I'm pretty new to all this, but um, that is pretty much all those reasons is the reasons I want to learn it. Um, I want to learn because I know there's an awesome community involved with Esperanto um, and there's different websites to learn um, and I know I've heard about this website where you can people that speak Esperanto and if you want to travel to different places you can actually like get a hold of other people that know Esperanto and they'll like give you a place to stay now I haven't looked into this at all I don't I'm pretty sure it's legit because a lot of like important people that I've seen have talked about it and it's like a real legit thing. Obviously, you need to do your research and make sure that it's not dangerous or anything like that, but I think that's really cool and they'll let you stay with them for free if you want to travel abroad, stuff like that. So I think that's awesome. Um, also, uh, obviously, I want to learn this language because it will finally bridge the gap to where I'm not a monoglot anymore. I'm, I don't just know one language. I'll know a second language and it will help me and by learning it really fast. Uh, because it's a super easy language, there is no exceptions to this language. It's um, super, super easy. The grammar, the everything is just super easy. It kind of gives me the feel of Italian, like when it's said, but um, it, it's mainly derived from a romantic language, but um, it takes words from German. I've noticed, because I've studied a little bit of Swedish, I noticed some Swedish in there, so like um, Scandinavian languages. I've noticed language, like words in English in there a little bit, like, so it's it's really interesting how it's it kind of takes some stuff from all the languages and just combines it into one but it's the easiest language to learn so I think that's really awesome um, and I think this language will be awesome for me to learn as a second language so then it'll be super fast for me to learn this uh, my brain will have made those connections where I can actually think in a second language um, it gives me what gives me motivation so that um, because I'm learning it so fast it motivates me and um, and yeah then I'll be able to once I bridge that gap to be able to finally learn a second language um, because I obviously as you're old as you get older and you are still only a monoglot it it seems like anyway to me it gets harder and harder to make those connections in your brain to learn other languages so for me to be able to do this um, it is well known to be able to if you learn Esperanto you'll be able to bridge that gap and then once you know that you can learn these harder languages that you want to learn that are not legit but they're 
not made up languages, not artificial languages. Um, so yeah, so once I learn Esperanto and I'm fluent in that and I can have this whole community of Esperanto people um, and we can have conversations back and forth, then once you're fluent, I can go on to learn Spanish or Swedish or German or whatever language I want to and it will then be my third language and I, my brain will already be have those connections to be able to oh yeah let's learn another language we can think in another language now we have like so that's that's kind of where I'm at um, and I think it's really cool I think it's a really awesome language to be able to no matter where you come from if you know Esperanto you can communicate and you can learn about different cultures and you can learn about other people's lives even though you don't know their native language which I think is so cool um, and I just love the language I think it sounds really cool I just I think it sounds awesome so um, without further ado I don't think I have anything else that really um, that's really important to know um, just that you should really check it out it's a really awesome language yes it's artificial but it's the coolest thing ever because it's so easy to learn um, if you guys are just if you guys are watching this video whoever you are and you um, have never heard about Esperanto before just like a few things that will get you like oh wow this is like super cool I think I could learn this super fast Number one, all nouns end in O. So no matter what, you know it's a noun if there's a suffix of O at the end. An adjective is ending in an A. Um, with verbs, it's super easy. Like present tense, all verbs end in AS. Uh, past tense is IS. So, and there's no exceptions none at all and so yeah that's really cool so if you want to say I I love it's me amas if um, you want to say I am it's me estas and it all all the verbs it doesn't matter so that's that's really cool because I'm learning this language super fast already and I've only like learned it a couple like a couple hours like hardcore actually trying to learn for a couple hours so basically um, I wanted to do like a kind of I know like most of this video is supposed to be in English but I figured I would do a little introduction in Esperanto so that you can see and hear what the language sounds like obviously I've only been studying for like a couple hours so I don't know a whole lot I'm not gonna be fluent if you want to see someone actually speaking Esperanto fluently really fast like just spitting it out to you and you want to hear what it sounds like check out other Esperanto videos um, on YouTube just type in Esperanto and a whole bunch of videos will come up and you'll be able to see um, what it sounds like as a fluent person would speak it um, but I wanted to do a introduction just so, number one, I can get a little experience of putting myself out there, speak this from the very beginning, and also just being able to give you guys a little bit of an idea of what it sounds like. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and just think this in my head. It might take a little bit for me to get the right word because I have no cheat sheet or it's nothing's written down. So I'm gonna try. If I say something wrong, let me know. If I'm doing good, let me know because yeah. So I'm just gonna do a quick introduction and say goodbye in Esperanto and that'll be it. And you guys, if um, 
you want to make a video just use hashtag Esperanto lives because Esperanto does live even though it's artificial Esperanto lives and um, we gotta share it so that everyone can learn and we can just yeah awesome just be awesome so <clears throat> uh, without further ado I'm gonna try this okay uh, saluton uh, mia nomo estas Karin uh, mi mi estas dudek kvar um, en uno semino uh, dudek kvin um, mi Miamas hundoi kai delfinoi. Uh, mi, mi domo estas malgranda uh, sed bona. Um, um, Uh, mi estas regino? Ne. <laughs> um. Uh. Uno, du, tri, kvar, kvin, ses. Deck. Um. Um. Dankon. Uh. Kai. Gis. Bravido. Also, just so you guys know, if anyone else speaks Esperanto and they want to communicate with me so that I can get some experience, obviously I'm new, I can't really say too much right now, but. Um, I would love to be able to have a community where I can speak and write and then um, I'm also just so you know I will be doing um, videos of my Esperanto progress on this channel um, every so often so definitely check it out and stay with me if you want to see that so yeah how do you say pizza in Esperanto? Because I love pizza. Mi amas pizza. <laughs>